the salt marshes, together with the oyster beds and shellfish beds, together with the deeper in the water eel grasses, were actually collaborating. They were not competing. They were actually exchanging the energy, the water, the food, and supporting coexistence. In this case of the species of beautiful fiddler crabs that are all these little holes here, are actually homes of the fiddler crabs. And uh, here you can see huge number, vast number of uh, ribbed mussels. And in Seven Hill Cove, the degraded site, we could maybe count them on one hand. And here they're actually, every time we come, this is now th third season, we are seeing more and more species. The collaboration is really working. The ribbed mussels and fiddler crabs, one of the major bio turbation species because they live in a sediment and they're constantly working in the mud, bringing oxygen and, and, and harvesting the nutrients. And that's why in this area you only have a little bit of organic matter that can support ulva and algae and what basically they're all trying to use, a lot of nutrients, food. They're sharing the food that comes with the tide and they filter feed oysters, and blue mussels, and everybody has enough. And every season, this is the third season, we are finding more and more species. And we are hoping that by improving the habitat for them, and also not harvesting as much as we usually do, that's why sanctuaries um, are supposed to be sanctuaries for species to thrive and not only live a couple of years, which we allow oysters to live only a few years, two or three years, and then we harvest them. Here you can see how they coexist. There's a little tiny crab attacking me here. So, <laughs> hi buddy, look at that. Little, so there you have a beautiful species of uh, rib mussel and oyster attached to it. So the oysters, when they're two to three years old, about three inches big, we harvest them. But some species of oysters can live up to 80 years. So if we could just leave them long enough to establish their habitat and also to um, provide a habitat for other species, I think this whole um, restoration process would be much more successful.